There is a trend in the manifestation, get what you want, the secret trend, which I think is an abdication of our experience here as beings. I'll just show you this on my phone. You only need to breathe to manifest all of your desires. Not true. Let me show another one. Don't give a uh, manifest, right? Just watch it happen. Just watch. It's going to happen. Not true. This one, though, I think is true. I tend to listen to some Bashar things. Here's my experience of this. Your clarity of your thoughts, how clear you are in the thought times the intensity of your emotion creates your intention for what you actually want to create. Those things create your intention in your body. Electrochemically, we are a collection of electro signals tied in with chemicals. So that electrochemical energy in your body, physically measurable by science, creates an intention. That intention immediately externally to you creates a resonance. Resonance is a combination of your clarity of thought and intensity of emotion. Your resonance goes out into the world and interacts. We can talk more about clarifying your resonance through clarifying your intention. That's a whole other thing. All of this stuff that's like, all you have to do is breathe. It abdicates part of the responsibility you have as a being here saying it's just going to happen. Not true. No, it's not just going to happen. What's going to happen is your resonance is going to go out into the world and it's going to interact with the resonance of all other living beings on the planet. And that's not just humans, that's all life. All life, all living things have intention. It's not clear to us why the aspen grove grows in the way it does. It's not clear to us why the mycelium grows in quite the way it does. But there are processes in place. Those things have intention built into them from their resonance. The thing that makes us different is that we get to choose our clarity of thought and our intensity of emotion. All you have to do is breathe and everything will come to you. Not true. Because resonance interacts with all of the other possibilities that are out there. Circumstances are going to come back to you based on the resonance that you create. All you have to do is sit here and breathe and think about it. Not true. What they abdicate is your greatest power. Claim your greatest power, which is your free will. Your choice is what happens next. And that is what you are embedded with is your choice. So clarity of thought, intensity of emotion creates intention. Intention goes out, creates resonance. Resonance interacts with all other living beings resonance. And then circumstance comes back to you based on the resonance. And here is the key thing, free will, choice. That's where choice comes in and then it starts over again to clarity of thought and the intensity of emotion around the thing coming back to you. You are going to have circumstances come back to you. You are going to choose. The greatest power you have is your ability to choose. So all you have to do is breathe and it will happen. I don't know if that's true. Not true. You can choose. You have an active capability. If a resonance comes back to you and you say to reject, if that's your intention to reject whatever's coming to you, you take action on it. If your intention is to placate, you take action on it. If your intention is to embrace, and the more you create that, the more you realize intention based on your clarity of thought and your intensity of emotion. And yes, breath work's super important in that. And yes, meditation is super important in that. And yes, education is super important in that because it helps you clarify your thoughts. Affirmation is super important in that. Religious experiences or spiritual experiences are there to help us clarify our thought and our intensity of emotion. I was raised Catholic. I didn't really love church necessarily, but I loved being in youth choir because I love singing because singing is in resonance with me. The clarity of my thought and the intensity of my emotion was helped to be clarified by the activity, the choice, of going and singing. I could clarify my thought and I could amplify my emotion and the way I did that was through music. What are your ways for clarifying your thought or your intensity of emotion? You can comment those. In. To clarify your thought and amplify your emotion, figure out what verbs you want to be playing in the world. If you were an ideal character in the world, what verbs would your ideal character play in the situation? Not the way you just want to react because, but the way you ideally would react or choose to respond rather than just react. Don't abdicate your responsibility or your greatest power, which is your ability to choose, right? Create your clarity of thought, 
create your intensity of emotion. That's going to create intention. That intention is going to create resonance. That resonance is going to go into the world that's going to bring back to you a set of circumstances which then lets you exercise and know your greatest power, which is your free will, your ability to choose. And then it starts over, clarifying your thought, amplifying your intensity of emotion, Creating intention, which creates resonance, which goes into the world, interacts with all other resonance, brings back a set of circumstances. It just goes in a loop. And this is what we are here to learn and what we are here to act on. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you enjoyed it, got something out of this, tell me what helps you clarify your thought and amplify your emotion. It could be meditation, it could be affirmation, it could be art. It can be any of these things that we use to access the source inside of us and our greatest ability to choose. And if you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, and come on back. Hope you are enjoying a fantastic day. There you go. That is the end of this video. You can check out some of these other videos, or if you want, you can go check out our new community as of this video. It's a brand new community, the communal individual. Otherwise, check out one of these other videos. I hope you enjoy a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching.